Well, howdy. Um, so I think and write and read about a lot of topics. Um, today, I think it's important to know things. But as I was thinking about something uh, interesting, and spiritual to make a video on, I realized something. That's, I don't think people realize aliens, you know, Lucifer, Satan, God, all of these things may exist and may inform our reality in some way, but they aren't the most important thing. The most important thing is you, is you, is inside. What you have to do and what your purpose can be found here, not with what you see or think or how terrible, how great things are, it's here. People are so distracted and, and so easy to blame things on outside sources. They lose sight of where everything that matters is. Uh, if you watch my previous videos, you know I've had quite the uh, year or so and the hardest part of all of that so far has been the last week or two. I don't know, I'm terrible with time, man. I really don't know. Uh, I don't keep up with it very well. But after all of these things unfold, the worst part was what's left in me to deal with. What's left, you know? A hard life isn't just bad situations happening to people. It's what it creates in them. It's what's there. It's what has to be dealt with. And it can only be dealt with by you, right? It can only be looked at, accepted, um, loved, let go of by the individual. And there's really no one that can tell you how to do it. Um, you can get advice, but this uh, sovereignty, this being that we are, requires all that we are and we already have it. You just have to discover it. Life is not for um, fitting in, um, listening to outside sources tell you, oh, this is how you do this, this is how you're this, and what you have or what people view you as, it uh, affirms that you've completed your um, experience. I, I'm, I'm, it, it amazes me that everyone on their deathbed doesn't say, oh, this was all BS got it wrong. I know I would if my whole life was about chasing things or fitting into a box or something. How unfulfilled you must feel at the end of that. Um, so instead of coming on here and talking about things, you know, um, occult or esoteric, I, I just want to make a point that what's most important in the world today is that individuals find their purpose and they will find their purpose by letting go of all the ideas, the what it seeks attention, um, the virtues, the, the, the societal wackiness um, that people are starting to wake up to is all crap, but still want to hold on to things as if you know it's special to them. No, most people think what they've heard and been told. It's not special to you. Because if it was, your life would be a lot more difficult. Um, to be authentic is essential, but it's difficult as hell. You don't see a lot of people talking about, oh yeah, um, what you need to do is find your purpose and it may create suffering or uh, you know, short-term problems. People may not wanna talk to you anymore. Um, you might be you know, discouraged at every point, but that's the point of life. No, it's a lot easier to just fit into something, agree with what uh, beliefs of others, and uh, proceed to get the rewards that they've decided is what people want, but what it really is is just the appeal to ignorance, unconsciousness, and destruction and suffering as a result. And yet everyone just keeps agreeing and going along with it, right? The courage that is within every individual has to be discovered. And through that, you'll find what you are, what you're meant to do. 
I, I get asked a lot about intellect or how to take in information. Well, it's not about intellect. What is this obsession with intellect? Intellect, I could meet a, you know, a Polynesian fisherman that could do more for me than the person with the highest IQ on the planet. This, this idea that intellect does anything other than translate into a system, right, is obscene. Maybe your purpose is not intellectual. And by the way, uh, int intellectualism is like, you know, the masturbation of, of the ego. Um, I don't know if I've said this, in my first awakening, the first thing I realized, all the things I was indulging in, reading, um, looking at, they were a complete waste of time. You know, Lincoln Logs, simple, everything simple. Um, the complexity of, of intellectualism is a waste. It really is. Now, maybe your purpose is somehow involved in that, but it's like, it's like, making yourself or cultivating yourself, cultivating yourself into something that you're not. To be intellectual, to think that that's like the high point of humans. It's wrong, it really is wrong. And you know it's wrong because if that's the goal and what everyone's doing or why they go to school, then why isn't society better by all these smart people? Because it's, we're more than human, we're more than a brain. You can exercise your brain, you can build it up, but your spirit is still there. Your soul is still in there. And you have to find that. And you have to find that. And the path to finding it is oftentimes the decisions you make, the experiences you have, the choices are, that are available to you. And if you just pick from the ones that are given to you, that are promoted by a corrupt kind of world, you're not going to find that. It will be hard. There's no avoiding difficulty, pain. A life well lived is one mistake written, you know. So when I get asked about, I don't even consider myself intellectual. Like I, I don't even think of myself in that way. But people seem to think, that I have some knowledge that's important, and I tell them, look, what you're looking for, don't seek knowledge or intelligence. That's just your ego wanting some, um, you know, present um, that you can show everyone. Um, knowledge that you seek, you will find, and it will be in service of you and your path. It won't be a uh, struggle you don't have to buy a nice car. Uh, it's your purpose, and you have to accept your purpose. And you, it won't be hard because you'll be passionate about it. It'll fulfill you. Um, if you can break away from the chains of what everyone else says and does, it's essential. It's such a cliche to say, you know, everything is inside. Because people are like, yeah, 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 whatever. No, no, no. Yes. Right? And I know people say, well, you know, you gotta live, you gotta eat. Well, well, I promise you, and if I know nothing else, I know this. If you are on the path of your purpose, you feel it, you find it, you're going towards it, you won't have to worry about those things. Because when each person finds their purpose, it adds up to a world closest to perfection you can get. Now, there'll still be all these things that people like to talk about, the evil and stuff. But it stands no chance to activated souls living out um, their joy and fulfillment in the world. The goal is not that everyone has a suburban house and two cars and whatever, like that's cool, but that's not adding up to the true reason why we're here, to express ourselves, to be who we are, to surrender, to accept, to make mistakes, to maybe even be traumatized, but to find what that looks like in you bring it up and let it go.
feel the emotions, take the time, um, and let stress and pressure go. Stress and pressure are the side effects of a manufactured reality where you have to do things in order to fulfill your role as a slave and also to live falsely. Now more than ever, um, you can see the artificiality of everything. You know, certain groups like to talk about constructs. All of this is a construct. All of this is a construct. And the weird part is, is that it's already beautiful and amazing and magical. You know, I really care about people and I try to talk to them and help them. And sometimes it seems endless the amount of their value systems, you know, what they think is important. And sometimes I struggle to tell them why these things are not real, you know? It's a really an uphill battle, but not so much when everything's falling apart around, right? You have to question, why am I doing all these things that I don't enjoy, that aren't fulfilling me, um, that seem weird, while nothing is working within that system outside of it, right? Why would I do them? Exactly why. You don't have to worry about aliens or demons or any of those things to go within. And you don't have to worry about anything else but yourself. Because believe, there is a structure to this reality. And it's called each individual putting forth what they have naturally been given, finding it, and putting it forth into the world. I'm not saying that it's a perfect world, but I'm saying it's better than the one we live in now. So, another video. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well.